What's going on YouTube? It's EJ4V back with another video. As you see from the title and thumbnail, this video is going to be how to get low latency on controller with Anti-Micro in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get low latency on controller using this app called Anti-Micro. A lot of controller pros use Anti-Micro. It's safe to use, it works, and it's used for different things. But in this video, we're just going to use it to get low latency on controller. I'm going to also show some free building clips showing you guys that I have low latency on controller and that my builds and edits are instant. This is the website we'll be using today. The link will be in the description. After you come to this website, all you want to do is click download right here. After you download and install it on your computer, it'll look something like this. So after it's on your computer, you want to right click on it and run it as administrator. And then click yes. And you want to do that every time you open this app so you don't run into no problems. And I know I'm going to get this question in the comment section. So yes, while you play, you have to have this open. So after you open it, all you want to do is minimize it and it'll be right here. It'll be in your hidden icons and it'll be right there. So as you see, I already have a profile. It's called low latency. So I already did everything, but I'm going to do it again to show you guys for the video. So I'm going to go to new. And after you do something on this app, you want to make sure you click save right here, because if not, it won't save. So to actually get low latency on controller, what you want to do is you want to go to all your buttons. You see button one all the way to button 14. These are all of your buttons. You see if I click X, that's one button, square, triangle, circle. You get the point so for button one all the way to button 14 you want to click on it make sure you check turbo click advance go to turbo go to your delay and put it all the way down click close close and you're done and you want to do that for each button so then button five turbo advance turbo all the way down close and i'll do one more button seven turbo advance turbo all the way down close and you want to do that for button one all the way to button 14 and after you do that for button one all the way to button 14 what you want to do is you're going to want to click save as and you want to write something so what i'm gonna write so i'm gonna just write low latency two and save and then you're all done and basically what that does is now each button on your controller is going to respond much faster but that's it for me that's the video that's how to get low latency on controller with anti-micro I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something new, make sure to leave a like on the video. Comment if you have any questions. Subscribe to the post notifications so you never miss a future upload. Thanks for watching. Peace.